Hey everybody, it's Kristen here. I told you that I would be going and showing you how you can find your target audience, okay? So, the first step that you want to do is whatever you're promoting or your niche is, you want to make sure that you're following top leaders, top earners, okay? And here's why. Because top earners and top leaders really, honestly, <clears throat> connect with successful people and they only want to connect with successful people so this is a good way for you to find um customers recruits or anything like that and add people for friends so let's just say that you're in health and wellness okay so you're going to look in health and wellness groups so you're going to put health and wellness at the top here and then you're going to scroll over. Um, you can go to pages or you can go to groups, whichever. Um, I would say groups probably. So here are some health and wellness groups. There's a ton of them. A lot of people in health and wellness. Um, so let's see. Let's find a group that's got some people in it. And I'm probably not in this group. No, and it's called, it's a closed group. Um, let me find my groups here. Uh, let's see. Bear with me for a second, because you know I'm on my cell phone doing this. So you're going to go down to groups. And here's all the groups that I'm in. So, to find my, ta my target audience, I'm going to go into, like, a business group. And I'm going to go through um, just posts here. Or I can either go through the members if I'm on. I don't know if you can do it on your phone, but I know you can on your computer. You can go through the members and see who's in here. There we go, members. Okay. So you can see all the members that are in here that you're friends with. And then you want to connect with people that you are mutual friends with. The reason why is because that way you're not thrown into Facebook jail for adding friends. And don't send them a message until you they have actually, you know, accepted your friend request then you can go ahead and send a message so i'm going to go to someone who i really admire we're going to go to ray hagden reason why he has a ton of people that follow him and a lot of these people are positive successful people so we're going to look underneath his post. He has a lot of engagement and a lot of people that like his posts. And I know, you know, this for me, these people are looking for help. And I am the type of person that's looking for people that want help. Okay. But in, in your situation, you're going to want to look for people that's in your niche, um, whatever you're promoting. And that's what a niche means, in case you don't know. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the likes. And then above here, I'm going to click on all of them. So you can see the uh, second one down. Actually, you can see where it says all mutual friends. So I'm going to click on some of these people. Um, and what I recommend is checking out their profile first to see what their profile looks like, what kind of person they are. And from what I see, this person, you know, she's just down to earth. She's she's showing she's showing um, lifestyle pictures. Um, she's not trying to promote her products on her page, so she doesn't look like a walking billboard. So we'll go back to her and we'll add her. And so this is how I, I, you know, I add my friends. I look for people that I'm mutual friends with.
okay? These are all probably positive people that are true and sincere, okay? And if they already have 5,000 friends, it's going to pop up and tell you that. So at the moment, you know, because I'm doing this training, I'm just going to click on some people that I'm mutual friends with that I probably want to connect with, okay? So this is a good way to go ahead and build your friends list up and start connecting with people on Facebook. So once you've done that and, and you, you've, you know, you want to do this about twice a day. You want to do it in the morning and you want to do it at night. And you want to connect with about 30 people um, in the morning and at night. That's 60 people a day. If you do that daily, you're going to build your friends list up to 5,000 or close to 5,000. And not only when you do that, it's also going to throw your name out there as um, in the top searches. So when people are looking for people to connect with, you're going to come up as recommended. So then once you do that, you want to go to your profile page, okay? And, and you want to check this often because when you go to your profile page and you cl click friends, you can see who you're friends with and you, you can click recent. So more than likely, these people right here, now that's, a personal friend of mine but you know these people right here I'm sure I have not connected with go ahead and send them a message now she has said something to me but I yeah I did send send it back um, just say I uh, hope you're having a great day okay Say some, something simple like that, or, you know, thanks for connecting with me, thanks for accepting my friend request, and start building that friendship. Okay, see, I've never connected with this person here, so I'm going to say, um, thanks for accepting my friend request. Okay, and send that message. So here's what happens is once you get those um, those friends and you start coming up like and recommended, you're going to start getting friend requests. And what's going to happen is you're going to have to start going through them um, one by one and going through the profiles, okay? Um trying to find it on my phone here let's see here uh, can't figure out where it would be okay so here's people that have sent me friends requests right here so I have not yet connected with these people of course I haven't added them or confirmed so then you're going to have people you may know because your mutual friends are these people. So you, again, can go through some of these profiles, check them out, see what they look like. Um, and I see he's showing money, and to me that's kind of unattractive. Um, you see he's not getting a lot of engagement here. Um, he's posting about his company. Um, and, you know, sometimes when people are, are posting about their company and they're getting likes, more than likely it's a person that's already in that company. So this person here, I'm, I'm not going to go ahead and accept because I just don't like that kind of thing. Um, so let's see, we'll go back. We'll just hit remove. Um, let's look at Jay here and see what Jay is doing. Uh, if you want to be an instant expert with one online skill, what would it be? Okay, so he's probably helping people from what I can read and see. So, I don't mind connecting with him. 
I don't mind. He's got a nice picture. He's got lifestyle in the background. So yeah, we'll connect with him. So this is just a really good way on how to really um, find your target audience. And you want to make sure that you have a background that's like lifestyle, a nice picture of yourself. Always have a picture of yourself. People want to know who you who you really are. Um, here, you know, I posted here. This is just lifestyle. Um, this is lifestyle. We, we all have different things. Um, this is something, just a question that I asked people. Here's a delivery I'm getting because I'm going to be doing a training on green screen videos. Um, Facebook Live, you can see I had 66 views and 7 comments and I did this at 8 o'clock this morning. Um, so, you know, this is kind of stuff that you want to do. You want to help people as much as you can. Always give something with value or free to where you can help people. And it's going to work out a whole lot better. So, you know, this comment here, I'm going to go ahead and like my post because 16 people have liked it already. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead, whoops. You know, I'm going to click like. Because if you click like on your comments, it's what it's going to do is going to throw your post back out into the news feed. And you want to keep your post out into the news feed. I mean, it's, it's a very important to do that. The more you keep your post out into the news feed, the more people are going to see it. You know, they say that. Um, your post only reaches to a certain amount of people. This is uh, true, but if you if you know and you learn how to keep it out into the news feed, more people are going to see it and you're going to have more people like it. You know, here's my daughter. Um, I had 71 people like it, 21 comments. You know, people want to know about you. They want to know who you are. So if you're selling something, you really want to have your own personal group. Okay, and I'm going to quickly run through what my group looks like. And, and the reason why to have a group is so that you can separate your business and your lifestyle. Here is my group right here. Um, I do Facebook Lives in here. Um, I write posts in here. I give help in here. I give value in here. Um... You know, just little things like that. Now I'm, I'm in the middle of working with the engagement um, and all of that. And, you know, all this takes time. It doesn't happen overnight. But this is why you learn to build yourself, build your brand, and know who to connect with and how to find your target audience. Okay, this is so important to find that target audience and most of all, brand yourself. Don't spam it. You know, you, you've briefly looked at my profile, and now you're looking at my, my personal page, and you know what? You don't even see my business. You don't even know what I promote. All you know is I help people, but you don't physically know what I promote, and that's what it's all about. You want people to come and ask you, okay? So I hope this training has helped you a little bit and you you guys just have a wonderful day and and I just